How's it going guys, Zabby here, and today we're going to be heading to Falcon Lake in Oregon. Now this has been a highly, highly requested place for me to do a video on. Now I am over leveled for this uh, by quite a bit, but if you guys are just trying to go here, I'm going to teach you guys how to set up a rod that you can use to come here. So I have two different setups here. I have a float setup and I also have a lure setup. Now my float setup is a little bit overpowered guys, 8 kilograms already. This is what my test is, um, 8.65 kilograms. 8 kilogram reel and an 8 kilogram rod. Now, if we take a look at the fish that are actually here at Falcon, you can see there's the rainbow outlaw. That's the monster fish. We're going to completely ignore that. But if we look at the rainbow trouts, you can see here unique rainbow trouts get up to about 3.3 kilograms. If you guys want to come here with like a three, three and a half, four kilogram setup, that's going to be perfect. It really depends on how far you are in the game, how quick you want to bring them in. But they get only that big and then for the brown trout it's the same type of thing they get to like three and a half so honestly anything like what i have like the eight kilograms setup is going to be too much you want to go anywhere below that if you're coming here for the first time and then on top of that guys i am using an elemental 240 with a narrow spoon seven grams now this is very lightweight setup this is 3.6 kilograms so if we get a unique on it's going to be a hell of a fight with this but yeah, Elemental 240. Uh, I'm not sure when this one unlocks. Let me take a quick look here. It unlocks at level 6, so you can definitely use that. Again, if you guys want to use something heavier than this one, feel free to go ahead. But that's just all I'm using now. Also, I got the Callisto MG 2500 just because that fits my line and my rod setup there. Uh, that's absolutely perfect. This is the same lure as you use an Emerald. So you can use that. You can also use spinners and stuff like that. Uh, this will do great here though, guys. It just takes a little bit to drop down in the water. But if you want to use something like um, a medium spoon, that'll work. You want to use something heavier, that'll work too. The uh, turtle spoon from Rocky Lake will work well here. And then this bullet spinner is good as well. It's a little bit higher level gear though. So if you're just looking for something easy, this is definitely what you want to go with. Anyways, guys, once you get your, your float set up, ready to go here, there's a few different baits you can take a look at. Now, you can use artificial salmon eggs, you can use natural eggs, you can use shiners, you can use shrimp, small minnows, spawn sack, crickets, dragonflies, grasshoppers, leeches, mayflies, nightcrawlers. There's tons and tons of different baits you can use here. If we just go look at the brown trout, you can see here, small minnows, spawn sack, dragonflies, we want to go to rainbow flies, mayflies, grasshopper, natural eggs, artificial salmon eggs. They like narrow spoon spinners, nanos, uh, shads, and grubs. So I'm just going to bring a narrow spoon. But you guys can see here, this is a, a lot of the same type of baits and stuff. There's a lot of different things to choose from depending on your level. So feel free to, you know, try out different um, combinations. So you see here, I got some artificial or I got some natural eggs. I got some spawn sacks, some small minnows, with some mayflies. Uh, grab 2-0 hooks, guys. The bite rate's pretty good on 2-0. You can do 3-0. It's going to slow down the bite rate a little tiny bit, but that'll definitely work. And I also have some fluorocarbon leaders on these because I'm using braid line. So if you're just using fluoro line, you don't need the leader. But if you're using braid or whatever and you want a fluoro uh, carbon leader, then go ahead and do that. But yeah, 2 hooks, 2 3 hooks, guys. And then just make sure to bring a good lure setup. Again, it depends on what you guys, like where you guys are at in the game. Uh, but most likely, as long as you're not bringing something that's insanely overpowered, you'll still make de decent XP here. And the fish aren't too big, so you should be able to make some money here, guys. I'm going to show you the spots. So remember, you can come back here at any point. So all we're going to do, guys, grab an advanced license. We're going to go to Falcon Lake, and I will see you guys there. All right, guys, when you get to Falcon Lake here, there's a bunch of different places you can fish. So I'm going to start off here in Trout Lair. It's the very far left one. We're just going to hop in and we're going to spawn right here. If you have a boat, it is going to spawn right there. You can also rent one. We're just going to run over to the left here. And we are going to go fish for some brown trout. Now, you can get brown trout and rainbow trout here. You can see here, I got a bunch of markers all over the place. At uh, varying distances and stuff like that. You guys can feel free to create your own markers. You can see here, uh, this one is where, just so I know, I cast on the far side for deep. And then the closer side to the rock for shallow. But there's a trophy brown trout, natural eggs, rain, rainbow trout on a bullet spinner, trophy brown trout on natural eggs. So you guys can see you can definitely catch fish here. But I'm just going to go to peak time here. We're going to go to about 1300 hours. But yeah, you guys can see from this, they, they just fight like crazy. They just have no give. 
Just be very careful with the tension because if they even you lose tension for a second, they're gonna hop right off. Gotta be very, very careful. There we go, guys. Nice rainbow. Let's see. It was only a trophy, but you guys can see the fight is very, very good. 240 XP with this set of $529. And that's just for a trophy. That's not even a unique. Again, if you guys want to take a look at this setup here, it is the Elemental 240 Callisto MG 2500. We're using 3.6 kilogram fluoro line with the 7 gram 1 0 narrow spoon that we used in Emerald. That's the setup, guys. Even with just the setup, you'll make a killing here. Trophy Brown Trout on the float rod. Now, I want to let you guys know what I've been doing for leader sizes now. They are a little bit different depending on the rod, but this one I have completely maxed out at 300 centimeters. Now, you don't have to go that deep between them all. If, I, if you look here, you can see I have one at 200. I got this one at 300. I got this one at 250. I got this one at 225. So anywhere in that range between 200, 300 centimeters, I will throw a conversion up there for you guys. Uh, test it out. Try, try to find maybe one you prefer. But any of those will honestly work. You get very, very deep, and there's some big, big fish down there, guys. All right? All right, guys. I did get a trophy rainbow trout. I was using spawn sack and the 2-0 hook. Again, guys, use whatever baits you have available. Test out a few different things. I'm going to keep trying. Uh, hopefully, I get a unique eventually. But this is definitely more of a brown trout area uh, than rainbow. But you never know. Sometimes you're going to get uh, rainbow here as well. Uh, we have a few more spots left to go guys that I'll show you where you can catch some good fish here All right guys come over to nature's charming hardcore This is where we're gonna fish. It's the far right spawn now This may look a little bit confusing guys with all these markers. I have set up right here But here I'm gonna show you guys kind of what I have set up here. So Basically what I've done is shown or I put the markers in where the deep spots are so anything in between these three markers and this marker is going to be in this deep area here. And this is also deep here. Now, you don't have to put those markers up, guys. But I just wanted to kind of give you a visual representation. Uh, basically here. And then right around uh, these three and down is deep. All right. So that's kind of where you want to cast in between. Is in between this marker and in between these markers here. Just so you guys have an idea. I'll leave them up so you guys can kind of get your whereabouts uh, but you can also put your own markers down it's not the end of the world but we're going to be using the same exact depths as i was before we're going to be using 3-0 hooks so this is what we're doing guys again we got one at 200 one at 300 one at 250 and one at 225 you guys are going to want to experiment uh, i'm not going to give you an exact depth because they all honestly work uh, we're going to go with the same baits uh, i'm actually going to go i'm going to get rid of the spawn sack one just because i know you guys probably if you're watching this video won't have it unlocked Let's do something like, um, do some night crawlers too. All right. So there's our four rod setups. We got some natural eggs. We got some artificial eggs. We got some night crawlers and we got some mayflies. I might even, yeah, no, that's fine. I'm going to throw all, all those in the water here. We're going to get our rod stand, put them down. Now we are at the peak time guys. You can see here we're at 1300 hours day two i just went to the next day there's the peak right there we're gonna pull out our first rod and i'm just gonna cast a little bit into the back there we got room for four so obviously if you got enough room for this many rods you can do the same type of thing but i'm just gonna cast into the deep deep areas there we got very deep leaders on guys we're just gonna keep doing that get that one in there and we're going to do the same thing as the other spot. We are going to uh, lure fish as we're doing this to try and keep the bite rate up. Now, this is a good spot for the unique rainbow, guys. If you're looking for the unique rainbow, this spot right here is going to be the place to get it. It's where I've had the best luck. If you're, if you're going to come here and try and go after rainbow, this is the best spot. The other spot's good for brown trout. This is the rainbow spot, all right, guys? We're just going to go ahead and put those four poles in the water like so. And then same thing as before, you're going to want to cast out. You can cast wherever you want, guys. You want to cast out here. You want to cast in the deep part here. It doesn't really matter. But we do have a fish on already. So let's go ahead and grab this. See what we got here for the first fish. Well, it seems to be a pretty small one. Which is okay. Okay. 
and it is just a young rainbow trout so you're gonna get some of those guys but i'm telling you right now this is the unique spot and you'll know when you got it on the line all right here you go guys we got a good fish on from this spot right now you can see our other rods are going crazy now obviously if you only have two rods in the water and you're lure fishing it's going to be a little bit different but you can see the bite right here is very very good and we do have a very big fish on so i'm going to go ahead and try and just get this one in ignoring our other beeps going off here because we know that this fish is a good one it's at least a trophy with the way it's fighting hopefully it's a uni that would be absolutely fantastic and with the way it's fighting it could very well be but you guys can see look at the look at how crazy the rods are going here this is absolutely nuts this is absolutely crazy hopefully we can get more than one of these fish in that would be nice i doubt it but you never know come on baby try and keep that up if you guys ever are worried just walk backwards into the land if you're losing too much tension that will definitely help get it up so there we go rod number four already timed out that's okay we're very interested in what we have on right now and remember guys this is the narrow spoon you can use spinners you can use other uh, types of lures this is just the one that i'm using come on And just and this is just sort of to give you guys an idea of of the fish here uh trout fishing is a lot a lot of fun guys if you're getting bored of like you know fishing catfish stuff like that this is definitely a great place to come especially early on it's a pretty solid place as long as you're pulling in these uniques but you can just see the freaking the rod stand is just going crazy come on get in here Ace after him. There we go. Uni? Just a trophy. All right. Let's try and get more, more of these guys in, all right? See how many we can get in here. This one's a pretty small fish. Come on. All right. That's another rainbow. Let's go to this one. Pretty, uh, pretty small fish again. You guys can see I am using different baits on a bunch of the rods. And just go ahead and try a couple different things. Bring a couple different things and you'll be alright. Another young rainbow. And let's go ahead and grab this last rod here. You can see we brought in a decent amount of fish pretty quickly. That was like, what, four rainbows? Only one of them was a good size though. But I mean, that, that's going to happen, guys. Eventually, you, if you keep farming here, you will get a unique... I'll try and show you guys um, another few trophies and hopefully a unique. There we go, guys. A unique rainbow trout caught in this spot with the lure. You can see here, 591 XP, $771. Pretty solid. And we do have another fish on. So let's just go ahead and grab this one. Uh, but you can see here, guys, if you just want to use a lure setup, that's definitely going to work too, all right? You don't have to use float setups. I just wanted to give some options. But let's head on over to the next spot where we can go uh, go fishing. All right, guys, I'm not actually gonna fish in this spot here, but I just wanted to show you this spot. Now, this is at the Mountain Watchers spawn in location, which is just down here. This spot is very, very good as well. I'm not gonna fish here just because it's pretty similar to the first location we were at. You can see here, I have some markers set up for some, some deep spots. There's trophy brown trout I caught, and there's a trophy rainbow I caught there. So just cast past the, uh, the shallow part into the deep part. And you should be good to go, guys. Lures work here as well. But let's head on over to the final spot, which I am going to fish at. It's a bridge of logs, and that's literally what it is. It is a bridge of logs. So we're going to face towards the uh, towards the lake there. You can see here, I do have some markers here. Trophy rainbow uh, and trophy rainbow. Those are the deep, deep holes there. So all we're going to do is do what we've done before. We're going to do some lure fishing. We're going to do some float fishing. You're going to set up this bad boy right on these logs. Now, you can go off to the side, too, if you'd like. It's up to you guys. I prefer just fishing from here because it's kind of cool. And you guys can catch stuff up there, too. Uh, mostly brown trout up there, though. Not that it really matters. Now, these holes are pretty deep, too. I think I can stick with the same leader length here. If I remember correctly. Yeah. As long as you hit those deep holes with the floats, you can keep those uh, those leader lengths that we've been using. 
from 200 centimeters to 300 centimeters. As long as you're in those deep, deep holes there, it will uh, even out. It's just shallow everywhere else around here. So let's go ahead and cast these ones out there. I'm going to do some lure fishing too, guys, and I'll show you guys some of the catches I get. Here we go, guys. We caught a nice brown trout there. We got another one on right now. Hopefully, it's a rainbow. That would be kind of cool. Judging by that big pull it just had, it most likely actually is a rainbow. This spot is great too, guys. Uh, the great thing about Falcon Lake is really the fact that you can kind of just move around wherever you want, depending on what you want to try and catch. But if you're really targeting the, tr the brown trout and the rainbow, these three, four spots will definitely help you out. Again, guys, don't be afraid to fish around here either. There's so many great spots that I, don't, I can't cover just because I could go on and on and on and on with these different spots. Uh, but you can basically pull out trophies and uniques anywhere here, guys. So don't be afraid to fish around. Don't be afraid to try some different hook sizes, 2030, some different baits, stuff like that. It's really up to you guys what you want to use and what you want to bring. But this spot will definitely help you level up, especially if you have um, a, a lighter setup than I have. You'll get way more XP. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching watching everyone if you like the video make sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button ring the bell so you don't miss a single video check out the description for links to my other social media platforms like twitch where i stream five days a week come hang out live it's a lot of fun also make sure to come type a comment tell me to catch more fish or whatever you guys want thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you guys in the next one